and welcome to Hey We're Talking. It's me, Scotty D, and I've got Derek J. Tant in the his house. Am I blurry still? Uh, you're not as clear as Bob, but you're not too bad. Bob it, looks blurry to me. What? That's because you've been That's drinking. That's because you've been drinking, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <No. laughs> yes. Okay. Bob Peel is also here, and he's clear as all can get out, whatever that means. Yes, I am. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Yes. I'm all over the place. Uh, before we get too deep into the madness, let me just tell you, go to Numa Coffee and get you some coffee because, you know... Who wants coffee? Coffee? Everybody, everybody. wants coffee. Everybody. So you go to NumaCoffee.com. That's P-N-E-U-M-A Coffee.com. Get yourself uh, one of Chris Bean's wonderfully roasted coffees. And when you go to checkout, put in that coupon code HWT. You'll get 20% off. Off. That's right, 20% off of already low prices for some really, really good coffee. I'm making the coffee! All right, so it's Friday, Friday. Gotta get up on Friday. We need to get song. that like as a drop now because... No, we don't. It's funny. It's annoying as can be. Friday. Is it okay. annoying as all get out? Yeah, yeah. it is. Annoying. I don't, I don't even... Uh-oh, guess what day it is? It's no, not... It's- no, it's, no. Friday. it's Friday. It's Friday. It's yeah. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, seriously, Peter. Ugh. Oh, my gosh. That's funny. Okay. Uh, let's get going on the program here. The program. That's a, such a great word, isn't it? Although every program. time, program. Every time program. I say it, you guys are just like, <laughs> you want to punch me in the face. Pretty much, yeah. All right. So it is Friday. It's not Friday. Oh, uh, you know what? It is. It's Friday. Okay. It is. It's such a great day. <laughs> such a great day here in Hey We're Talking Land. Uh, we're gonna talk about something pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, I could have done that right there. Too. Pretty good. Yeah, I could have done the pretty good right there. Anyway, uh, today we. I found out. I actually found out last week that this was official, but. There is a movie coming out that was probably pretty pretty important in most of our uh, young lives. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Now, there was also Bogus Journey, which was the second film. Now, yeah, this was a yeah. long time ago, okay? But Keanu Reeves, and I'm totally going to mess up the other guy's name. Dang it. Alex Winter. Yes. Alex Winter put out a little video... On, I think it was Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday of last week. They were at they're the make- Hollywood Bowl. Yeah. They're making Bill and Ted 3. Excellent. It's happening, guys. It, 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 I, I'm so mixed on it, man. I'm kind of really? like excited. Like, that, that'd be cool to see, but I just hope it's not horrible. Yeah. I mean, there is potential for just terrible, terrible, terrible movie, but... I mean, how can you go wrong on Bill and Ted, dude? Excellent. They're going to be well, saying Bill excellent and, and all that Bill stuff. Bill and Ted Part 2 wasn't that great. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I liked Death. That was pretty funny. Death was pretty, yeah. That was pretty good. They had to play all those games against Death. That was pretty, 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 pretty good. Pretty good. It was. Well, I haven't seen it in a while, so, you know. Go back and check it out. Soul. You might enjoy it. But uh, Bill and Ted, for those of you You'll who have to go to Blockbuster Video to rent it, though, because <laughs> it's not like it's going to be streaming anywhere. <laughs> there are there. Do you know there is like I forget. I don't even think it's in this country, but I think there's like one or two Blockbuster videos still still around. Well, what's funny is when Blockbuster started crumbling and going downhill, I actually saw a Blockbuster kiosk like Netflix. Yeah. Or uh, Redbox. Yep. Um. I saw a couple of them around town here, and then they just disappeared, and all of it disappeared. Yeah. So, it. it but went, I think I think there's down. a couple somewhere. I they know had a good run. They did had a good one. Run. They did in a in a movie that had recently hit theaters. It's an absolute blockbuster. There is a <laughs> blockbuster video in that movie. What movie? Captain Marvel. Oh, jeez. Okay. Because it takes, place, it takes place in the '90s. I like that Bob went so, to go see that on International Women's Day. By the way. Were there were there's just like all women in the theater or or were you there too? Just other guys. No, I didn't I didn't see it. Yes, I, you did. Was open it was opening day. Yeah, International okay. Women's Day. 
Oh, okay. And Bob it celebrates no, it International was... Women's Day, so he went to go see Captain Marvel. She's a she's a, a what? She's it's by novel. the way, the the actress Brie Larson would rather that you didn't go see the movie. I don't know if you knew that. No, no clue. She Why said not? that she didn't want white guys at the movie. So what? <laughs> she did. She said she'd rather that white males stayed away. It's not for them. And I was just kind of like, boy, that's a real smart thing to do right before, right, before your movie premiere, comes yeah, out. That, that doesn't make sense. Uh, She's still cute, though. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It did. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, Captain Marvel, moving on. We're talking about Bill and Ted here. Don't sully Bill and Ted with Brie Larson's Captain Marvel. Although people are saying that it was pretty good. It was. It was really good. My okay. kids went and saw it last night, and they loved it. Of course. Course. Well, I have a hot take on. The oh, of- oh, it's time for another Derek Tance hot take. All right. Keanu Reeves, superstar, right? Went on to do Speed, went on to do The Matrix, and now he's international <laughs> action star assassin John Wick. Yes. And he started, you know, next year it's going to be John Wick 14. You know, he's. Three doing uh, yeah. all that stuff, uh-huh. and then Alex Winter, since Bill and Ted has gone on um, to do, I don't know. He probably managed a blockbuster video. No, he um, writes. <laughs> he's a writer. He's still in, he's still in Hollywood doing stuff. So, he, but yes, he hasn't done anything that you know really well. Probably. I just I saw the I saw the picture, I saw the picture. It's like Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter, you know, and. Kind of like back in the day, it was like Alex Winter, who was Bill. He was like the the good looking one. I mean, I don't know. I mean, what? But, but and then Ted was kind of like the slobby kind of one. But now, you know, the picture, it's like Keanu Reeves is like fit, in shape, cool Hollywood action guy. And Alex looks, I don't know, steady next to Keanu Reeves kind of looks homeless, <laughs> kind of looks homeless. Might need to do a few push-ups. Okay. You know, might need to do go jogging a little I bit. I don't know if to, this was your best hot take in the world. It's, I don't know. He, they, he needs, they need to bring Bill back up to Ted's level. <laughs> Keanu's always you know? been the ones that they the need girls to are each after. Other. Bill's just like a normal dude. But yes, I see what you're saying. They're listen. They're both. Yeah. They're both I, I what? Apologize. Like twenty years older, twenty or thirty years older at this point. Oh yeah. They're old men. They're like me. They had to be in their twenties. Yeah, but when they filmed yeah, that, it looks great. He looks okay. He looks great. He's gray haired too. He's got some really. Gray. Yeah. He I does. Don't think you have much room to talk. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know I don't have any room to talk, but I'm saying I don't need. Hey, I don't either. I just told Alex Winter to go do some push-ups. When the person that needs to do the most push-ups is me. Oh, all right. Oh, that's sad. Don't say that about yourself, man. No, I need to get in shape hey, too. Daddy. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. Can you let imagine if that guy hung out with us, me. Derek? For fat dummies. He would be so mean to us. He I think would, you guys should would... move by each other and just go work out all the time together. No. Why? I feel like workout buddies. <laughs> That'd be cute. Hey, <laughs> what are you talking about? Is he? You know what he's calling us, Derek? We're fat dummies. He's saying we're fat dummies and we need to go work we out are. together. I mean, we are. I know I am. I need you, to improve. You are not a fat dummy. Stop it. Well, I'm not a dummy. This is, this is going <laughs> off the rails. Get back to yeah, Bill okay. and Ted. All right, let's, let's reel it back so in. From, I, I apologize for my terrible hot take. It's not a terrible hot take, but let me just say this. <clears throat> I'm interested in seeing Bill and Ted 3 because it had a meaningful place in my past. I enjoyed oh, yeah. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. That was probably the best one, Derek. You're correct, okay? But the second one was not that bad. I especially the like when they said it's going to be so much better. It is. I mean, seriously, it is. It's going to be so much better. I especially liked in the second one when they said that their album covers totally lied to them, dude. That was one of the best parts. So there you go. All right, <clears throat> man, that fell flat. Just crashed. Bob, do you have anything fun that you want to share about Bill and Ted? No, I'm just excited for it. I think okay. I think it's going to be. I set you I, up. I'm worried about. You didn't go I'm worried for it. about it too. Okay, and I'm excited for it at the same time. All so, right. okay. Well, listen. On that note, 
I want to talk about movies, and we don't have tons of time, but I do want to talk about this. Movies like Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Now, that had a sequel, but movies that you would like to see them have a sequel or a threequel or whatever you want to call it, or movies that you would like to see that were movies that you loved remade, either one of those. Is there? I'll I'll start, because I have one that I've been talking about forever. I want them to do a Ferris Bueller's Day Off with them all grown up. I want to see that. I would And they all take a day off work? Yes, they skip work, and they have fun. I can't believe that they haven't done it. I got to believe somebody in Hollywood has approached Matthew Broderick and said, listen, man, he did this for that Volkswagen commercial a long time ago for the Super Bowl. It's probably like five years ago now. But I think... They need to do that in real life. That movie, so many people would go see that movie. It would be so huge. Derek, you really don't think that people would love that movie? Okay. I don't know. I don't know, man, because Matthew Broderick in the 80s, he was cool. Oh, gosh. Is Matthew Broderick cool now? No, but that's the funny thing about it. I mean, they're all grown up. Did he not? He He killed somebody. He he ran over them. He did not kill anybody. What are you talking about? But he's not cool. He narrated the TV version of A Christmas Story, and it was awful. It was was terrible. It was awful. And so I don't think he's cool. Like I would love to hang out with Matthew Broderick. I'd love to meet him, but I don't know if he's... Do you think think Matthew Broderick's going to hang out with you now that you said that he's uncool? (laughs) If Matthew Broderick wants to sponsor the show, that's great. Call one eight hundred Hey We're Talking. Yeah, we don't. Hey We're Talking is not our phone com. number. We'll it, do it. But, but yeah. I'm here. And I'm I'm in the business of hot takes and controversial statements, oh, and I'm gosh. saying that Matthew Broderick is not Ferris Bueller anymore. I Ooh. don't think he could pull that role off. But the whole point of the movie would be: you might have been a cool dude in high school, but everybody grows up. Eventually, you're not Ferris. Bu- you're not the Ferris Bueller from high school. That would be the or funny if, part. Or, of if it. He, or what if Ferris Bueller stayed the same? Yeah, and then everybody else had changed. Yeah, that's true. See, and, th- and then they have to get involved to get him to grow up. <laughs> that's just a great idea. Yeah. It's a great idea. And by the way, Ferris Bueller. There was a Domino's commercial. The kid from Stranger Things. The like kind of cool dude from Stranger Things. He did a Domino's commercial that was a take on Ferris Bueller's Day Off also. I I just think it would be a hit. Okay, so let's move on from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. So what I always hoped that they would make a sequel to would be The Italian Job. Dude, exactly. Why didn't they do that? Excellent movie. You know, Edward Norton, who has disappeared off the face of the planet. The guy's gone. I have not seen anything or heard anything about that guy in so long. To think I just thought the anything. Italian job was a great movie, uh, innovative in some of the ideas that they had, stuff like that, and then it just disappeared. Nothing after that, ever. They supposedly had a movie ready to go. I remember hearing about it, and they just, they've just they never done it. I, and I don't understand it either, because that was such a fun movie. Oh, I yeah. watch that movie at least two times a year, for sure. What about you, Derek? You got one? I've got two, I think, that could benefit, maybe not so much from sequels, but like reboots. Okay. And and I think you'll agree, at least on one. Okay, let's hear it. Let's, uh, the one that I don't think you even care for, Scott, is The NeverEnding Story. I've never yeah. seen it. I've never seen it. We were supposed to, but thanks. <laughs> yeah. I, I just, I don't know if I can bring myself to watch it because it's a... It holds a dear spot in your guys' life because you're of the age you were when you saw it. Yeah. Okay. But I think you were still, I think you still were at that age. You would have enjoyed it. Yeah. When when it came out, out, maybe I would have, but now I'm, you know, I'm 65 years old. It's like too, too, too late. Yeah. Shut up. So that's, I got to it before you guys could do it. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. But never ending story. That was the one that like popped into my head immediately. But the one I was thinking about that might benefit from a remake is the Goonies. Ooh, mm. interesting. Now, are you saying just do like a complete remake or? Yeah, like they should redo the whole thing. Like they should they should do that. Um, they could even I mean, it could, the kids doing a treasure hunt 
you know, kids in peril trying to save their town, their family, go on some cool <laughs> treasure hunt, you know, type of thing. It's a great concept, and I think maybe they uh, haven't done – they could have done more. They could have done more movies like that. I don't well, think the they thing did. Is- I think they thought it was – they're like, hey, this is going to be a good movie, may make us some money. It di- They didn't know it was going to become the phenomenon that it's become. Now, even the year – a few years after it was out, I don't think they ever thought it would be what it is now. No. But there was actually – this is this article is from 2017, but they've actually talked about doing Goonies too. It says it's, it was still likely to happen back then, but I think that's changed since 2017. Because everything that I'm reading, I did a quick look because I remember them talking about doing this. Chris Columbus was talking about doing a reboot. And uh, in fact, it says this was in 2018. Did you just turn Canadian? Who? You. What did I say? A reboot. <laughs> it's a reboot. What is What? Is, how did I say that differently? Sounded Canadian. That's no, all. I didn't. I don't know. A, a boot. You're, I'm not a saying boot. a boot. But they, you said a reboot. <laughs> listen. Chris Columbus <clears throat> says that he's working on a Gremlins reboot right now. On a Gremlins or a Goonies? I mean, <laughs> Goonies. Why does it say it says Gremlins right here, but it's Goonies? And he said, but he's play. Oh, he played down the chances of a Goonies sequel. What the heck, Gremlins? Why are they redoing Gremlins? That's weird. That's I could stupid. see that. They could Why? probably make the creature. I don't know. They could probably make. They could re-explore that story. Fill wasn't, up some of the plot holes. Wasn't some bit, of the maybe. wasn't some of the great thing about it was that the the the, the Goonies the Gremlins were basically just like puppets. They were Muppets. I mean, that wasn't wasn't that part of the thing that was fun about it. Now it can all be CGI. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It won't be as fun because the Gremlins was know. like supposed to be kind of a horror movie, but it was also like right. a kids' fun movie at the same time, wasn't it? Same with ET. Yeah, so, I didn't uh, see so ET until I was really here's, older. When we discussed this, here's the one that popped into my head. Okay. But I just Googled it and found out that they are making another one. What? So, l- let me let me ask you guys. Ooh, first. wait a minute. We didn't know about this until just now. It's time for Bob's Fun Fact of the Day. A little bit too long. Um, oh, but but it's not a fun fact. <laughs> I, I I wanted you guys. I was going to ask you a question first. So this movie came out in two thousand nine. Yeah, and it's the highest grossing movie ever. Huh? Avatar. Yes. Ugh. They're making Avatar two. It's set to come out in twenty twenty. And three and four. Boo. Have you watched it? Yeah. Dude, that was an amazing movie boring no way yeah so good boring so yeah i'm excited about that i didn't know they were making it i saw it in the theater and i I literally almost fell asleep during avatar Uh, not me i'm i'm excited for it Ooh, they have a tree teaser trailer too (laughs) i I gotta get off of there (laughs) i'm excited so i'm so excited about avatar it's ridiculous i love i love that movie i thought it was a great movie <sighs> and especially if you got to see it in 3D, IMAX. Oh, jeez. With all, all right. the sound. The, no. It, it, was, it, it was, was dumb. Cool. I saw it in 3D Very. and I was like, this is stupid. I just wish they'd make another Halloween movie, man. They already did. <laughs> I, I still haven't seen that, but I, I was very I interested in seeing that. All right. Listen, I don't care. we got to wrap it up, but I do want to like tell everybody there's this major push going on. I, I don't know if everybody's heard about this, but there's a thing going on right now. Uh, where people are really excited about this show called Hey, We're Talking, especially the YouTube version of Hey, We're Talking. A lot of people think it's a it's a it's a very important uh, show. Um, sometimes I think about it. It doesn't it and matter what you think. It, it does matter what I think. And I think you should go subscribe to our YouTube channel. OK, listen, seriously. OK, we think. That you seeing our faces, like right now, Derek is just kind of like, I don't even know where Scott's going with this. Now he's smiling a little bit. But you don't know that because you're listening on a podcast. But if you were watching us on YouTube, subscribed to our channel, and hit the little bell, you would know immediately. When when this, when this came out, you'd be like, oh my gosh, there's a brand new, hey, we're talking. I don't want to miss this. So go and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
I'm begging you, please. I'm kidding. No, I'm not begging. I'm just telling you, everybody's talking about this. It's all over the place. People are so excited about this show. It's on the news. It is. Boy, that escalated quickly. All right, so go subscribe and uh, check us out on Facebook. You can always uh, just listen to our podcast if you have to. You can just listen to the podcast on your favorite podcasting app. Uh, feel free to email us at hey, we're talking at gmail.com. Get in contact with us, interact with us on Facebook, on YouTube, and we'll get back at you. We appreciate you guys so much. Have a fantastic weekend. Derek, any last thoughts? Thank you for listening or watching and or both. Oh. Share the show, please. Bob, do you have anything <laughs> else to say? It doesn't matter what I have to say. But I will tell you. Go ahead. What are you going to tell me? I, I don't want to cut you off if you actually have something to say. I was going to set you up. I was well, going to tell you it's time for. It is. Bye.